What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, you know, here it is. It is Sunday. It's time to actually just start dissecting uh, everything that happened as far as preseason games go. The team will start figuring out who are going to be the guys that are going to stay and who's going to go, who's going to be on practice squad and so on. This is getting to the meat of um, building the actual team. The thing I am so excited about is the defense, and um, uh, I'm getting ready to do an Eagles live stream watching the Eagles, of course, playing against um, – the Browns and, you know, so we can see what they look like and so on. Um, so I haven't had a chance to really go through and, and break down stuff like I like want to, but I'll be doing that maybe this afternoon and uh, over the next couple of days and stuff. But I wanted to go over something that uh, it was a clip that John Machada had put up of Sam Williams um, bull rushing. Sam Williams is an abs can, can be an absolute beast. And when you see this, you'll look at this and say, oh, my God, this guy is good. And he is good, but he is very, very raw. And let me show you what I mean here. Um, this clip. And see, you know, being a defensive guy myself, okay, I played nose guard, which would be like John Ridgeway, okay, which would be the guy, of course, that's in the middle here. That would be what I would actually play. Um but mostly over the center as opposed to being shaded over by the guard. Um, you have Sam Williams, who's got a very wide, wide split here. And as a defensive end or an outside linebacker, your job is outside contained. That means nothing should be able to get outside of you. So in, in you're supposed to get upfield as quick as you can to get that pressure on. The defensive line themselves, their job is to get pressure up the middle and occupy the offensive lineman, which is why people say, well, I ain't heard nothing about John Ridgeway or, or Quentin Bohannon. Because their job is to occupy space and keep the guards from getting to the linebackers so the linebackers can get the glory. So Sam Williams, if you watch this play, you'll say, oh, my God, what a beast. Now, let's watch it. He's out there. He engages the, the center. I mean, excuse me, the tackle. He rocks him. Okay? Boom. You see him rock and how he's got the guy off balance right here? That is textbook. That is truly a bull rush. You look at his body. I call it the Z. You'll see that his, his upper body is at the angle. You'll see his legs are bent, and boom. So it looks like a Z. He has got full strength and full power. The problem is, is he doesn't finish him. And this is where, as a defensive lineman, once you've got that offensive lineman rocked, you get him off of the spot. Now's the time to make your move, be it a, you know, where you're dipping and ripping and dipping and ripping. The reason it's called dipping is you're actually taking your shoulder pads because right now he's square to the guy. You are a big target. When you dip, you're turning your shoulders. Now you've only got this point that's right here which is less for that offensive lineman to get. And especially now that he's off balance, when you do that, you are now able to get your body past him, okay? And the rip is you're basically taking your fist. You're making a fist, and you are just hitting across there. And what that does is that will take his hands and knock his hands off. Okay, so he engages. Great. He's got power. He's got leverage. He's under the pads, He's done everything, and literally, <coughs> all he has to do is disengage. Disengage. And this is where being young and raw come in. He stays engaged. He's almost like he's an offensive guard just drive blocking. That's what this honestly looks like here, because look, he ends up going literally this close to the quarterback, and he doesn't see him because he's so, con you know, so conscious of I'm going to bull rush, I'm going to push this guy out of the way, I'm going to get to the quarterback. Doesn't find the quarterback, and then the quarterback now gets outside. Now, fortunately, we've got guys chasing him, and ends up being that it's not a play. This is where. As you start getting experience, when you start understanding, I have got this guy beat. Let's go back to it, and I'll show you the point where he's got him beat. Bam. Right now, right here is where he has got the man beat. The guy is back. 
you see how the, the, the tackle's body is, is straight up and down. It's vertical. And when you're vertical, this is what I call you're playing chess games. If your chest is engaged with the other player, you have no leverage. You have no strength. You are off balance. And this is where he should be. If he, you know, if you've got strong hands and that that you know, you know, we always do the strength test of, of bench pressing. If he just bench presses, if he just shoves through there, that guy's going off, and now I have a vision where I can see the quarterback. Okay, but instead he keeps on in staying engaged. Keep staying engaged. Look, he's got the guy free wheeling. Now it's lose him. Just lose him. That's all you got to do. Just lose him. And if he had lost him, he would have been right there in the quarterback's face. So incredible effort, incredible ability, incredible strength. But you have to understand that now I've got to do the move. I've got to shed that blocker. I've got him rocked. I got him going backwards. Let me go ahead and get the quarterback. That's where you get the glory. That tackle had no chance. He had no chance whatsoever to hold on to him. That is, and this is where it's scary. When this guy learns how to shed blocks, when this guy learns a couple of the moves that are in his toolbox, when he starts to go ahead and use that bull rush and then that dip and rip or that swim move, and the swim move is basically you're getting the outside shoulder and then you're bringing the other one over. Again, you're making a small target, and you're keeping the hands off of you. And this is where it's just like, my God. When he gets it and puts it all together, he's going to be an absolute positive monster. Look at the strength. See, you can't coach that speed. You can't coach that natural driving ability but what you can coach is the moves off of there. He was so close to just like, a, and, and that would be a devastating, game-changing, knock the quarterback out, knock the ball out of his hands type of a sack. This is where we look at this defense, and we have some guys that are going to be absolute beasts. I don't know that Randy Gregory had the strength and the power to be able to just literally run over a tackle like this. Look at that. That's just brute strength. And then you put the speed in with that. Oh, I'm excited. Um, I love love seeing that. But if he just makes that move, man, it's devastating. So I hope everybody's having a great day. We're going to be doing a lot of film breakdown and stuff. Um, but right now I've got about 15 minutes before we start the Eagles game. We'll see what Philly 500 has going on and so forth. And I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Hopefully I'll see you during the live stream. I see I've already got Eagle fans that are in here commenting and, and bitching and moaning and stuff. It'll be interesting since last week they kept talking about how bad the Cowboys were and how we were ass and how great they were. Let's see after we actually played a decent preseason game, what their um, attitude will be today. I'm Mark Holmes and well, I'll see you guys in the live stream. Peace.